All right, welcome back. We're on the next episode. Let's go. Uh, does it matter which way I go first? Go this way. What the hell is that? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Poor, poor bastard. Oh, is that? Oh, is that how you reload? Okay, well, good to know. Text log. Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd. Any points to the same? And points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere, planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Too. Oh, okay, no, I read that right. Alright. His guilt is not in doubt. Two planet side security officers were present when he took Dr. Scariella, I can't pronounce that name, hostage, and murdered Nurse Evans. And he doesn't deny his actions, but he insists that there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and intransigent. I, I think that was right. I don't know. Displaying schizophrenic behavior, he also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods. Again, similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the doctor and because he had to stop the dreams and the faces and that he'll kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. Oh, I know what that means from watching Jack's Dead Space. Oh, that's whole again. Ah, little freaking bastards. Oh, okay. Alright. I don't know if I'll retain that, but we'll figure it out. God, I can't aim. Oh, so that is how you reload. Okay, at least I figured that out now. Good to know. Oh, plasma energy, always a pleasure. Cargo lift, okay, so... I take it I need to Oh Poor guy. Power node Oh shit. Schematic pulse rounds. Beautiful. Okay, so where... Oh, okay. What? 
You have to put it in in a specific way. Uh, okay, well, I guess that answers that question. Yes, I do. Why does it do? Why won't it stay in? Am I stupid? No, seriously, am I stupid? I really want to know. Why is this not working? What the hell? Why the fu- Okay. That was weird. Not today. Basis recharge. I'm not... Am I supposed to go... Okay, apparently not yet, but... Oh, come on, Isaac. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. Not do that quite yet. We gotta go through there later anyway, so it'll be fine. Wait, why does it... Hold on. Am I not supposed to go? Wait, okay, hold on. I, did I completely misread that? Uh oh.
How do I... Okay, does it seriously not tell me? Because I, I thought I read it. I, th I must have misread it because I thought it said to aim and press Y. Because it said my ammo counter. No, that was a waste. That was... No, didn't mean to... You're kidding, right? So I did read it right, I just wasn't looking at it right. Okay, so then... Okay. So no, not quite the right way. This is so weird. Like, how in the world do you even... What the... Oh, wait, I can... Oh, okay. I thought I could only do it on this and not the- okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, the zero gravity in the remake is way better. For sure. But if I remember correctly, um, at least if I interpreted what Jack said correctly, like in his video of this. They didn't have enough time to implement the zero gravity like they wanted to. And then they actually implemented it fully in Dead Space 2. So, I mean, it makes sense. But it is cool that they tried. Very cool. What the hell? Let's beat the shit out of that necromorph, hell yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Good. Nice. Okay. 
What the hell? Oh shit, that's the babies, isn't it? What? Just more of that. Okay. Um. All right, let's go. Secondary fire, RB. Nice. Oh, so that's how you do that. Okay. Nice. A ton of plasma energy. Oh, this room. Isn't this the one in the in the remake that Oh yeah, this probably is. Or is that something they added? I guess either way we're about to find out. I freaking knew it. Come on, you freaking necromorph bastards. Where's the rest of them? Did it glitch out or is he just under me? That answers that question, that's for sure. Oh shit! Uh, no, 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 get off me. Fuck you. Damn straight it did. Fuck yeah. I should have played this years ago. Especially when I got it for free, like, I don't know why I didn't, like, honestly. This is pretty damn cool. Okay, which one are you glitching out? So it was you. Anything interesting in here? Ooh, a video log. What in God's name is going on down there? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You... you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? 
Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor, Terrence, there will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. <laughs> Uh, these unitology guys, I swear. Did, didn't history teach you guys that religion always leads to bad shit? Look at the Crusades. And literally a bunch of other hu human histor historical events. I mean, is, uh, I mean, like, you know, is as good as religion can be for one's spirituality. Just like anything, you take it too far, a lot of bad shit happens, and that's been proven. I like that the uh, even for 2008, it, it it looks really well made. Like like the like the graphics of everything still look pretty good. Like they really do. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I've been spoiled with like you know like the new halos and everything. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, the remake looks better naturally. Like the lighting and everything, but this is still pretty cool. Is there a new game plus in this dead space? I know there is in the remake and thank God for that, but But I'm really hoping there's a new game plus in this one because I might actually replay this. Oh, this. Oh, yep. God damn. I'm gonna have to start investing in other weapons, I think. Oh shit! Screw you. God, they give you so much plasma energy. Does the game, like, just know that it's the only weapon I have, so it just gives me a ton of it? Or is that just literally how good the weapon is? Or just dumb luck for the fact that it's easy mode. I don't know. Either way, I'm not complaining. going next all right that thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade use the shark pad to ignite it hope I can hold this position I can hear something big moving out there
Oh, it's this thing that was making that noise. For you. Do I have a health kit that I can use? Beautiful. I don't think I need to go back there, not really. I should probably see if I can go back there and grab all those, um... Yeah, like seriously, I have a ton of plasma energy. Shit, let's go back there and freaking grab that if I can. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. Shit. Especially since, uh, unless more of them have spawn when you leave the area, we should... Yeah, see, there's that. We'll just backtrack a little bit. Why not? I don't know why I even tried that. I'm kind of an idiot, but... Oh, well. Let's give it a go. Plasma energy over here. See if I can pick it all up. Did oh wait, did some of it despawn? Uh oh. Okay, not all of it. Maybe the ones dropped by enemies, or some of them anyway, might despawn. Maybe, I don't know, but either way. Probably should have done that. Well, no, we're still pretty early game, so I'm not really worried about the stuff I might have missed at the very, very early sections. We still have a ton of ammo. Good lord. You can never have too much of the plasma cutter. Oh, good thing I came back here. undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. Yeah, damn. Admiring monsters, go freaking figure, am I right? But it seems to me that we got all the ammo. Or almost all of it, anyway. But it seems like we're good to go now. Now let's head to the shop. Good lord, still have quite a bit of plasma energy. Suit level 2, we already have that. Plasma energy, we have more than enough. Um... Got only 15,000 credits though. Um... Military grade assault rifle with high rate of fire. Um, honestly, considering how many plasma plasma ammo that we got, I'm almost more inclined to just get the flamethrower for the babies. 
And maybe for groups of enemies, maybe. Or again, power node to... Hmm. Ah, oh, God, I don't know what I want to do. Let's just get the flamethrower. I know. So this is the flamethrower, all right. All right. Come on. Lord. <laughs> okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. <laughs> These wounds, we are not equipped to deal with this. Get him to the table. Hold him. Not if you hold him down. Every corner. Good God. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Oh, come on. Did I just use a health kit without meaning to? Does I, I keep pressing X on instinct when I'm not aiming to reload, when I have to aim and press A to reload, so it's... Controls are a little different than what I'm used to, so I keep making little mistakes like that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, line packs, though, they really expected you to get that, didn't they? Those flickering lights are very unsettling. Oxygen recharge, okay. Flame fuel, always, always a pleasure. Can't get rid of it. You never have enough of that. Alright, so this is locked, so... Where's the, um, thing for it? Or am I just dumb? Oh, it's right here by the big door. Go figure. Is that other door open, or does that one stay locked? It's stayed locked. 
All right. Oh. Oh shit. Why is the plasma cutter so damn good? Like god damn. Use one power node to override law. Oh, that kind of sucks. I mean, if I knew there was something worth it back there, but it's the fact that I don't. Like, that's probably more of a... That I don't know if I want to commit to that or not. If I could see what was in it, I might be more tempted. But still... I guess, I guess that's kind of a cool thing though. Choice, consequence, mechanic kind of a thing. Use your power nodes to upgrade your weapons and your suit, or do you use them to open doors? Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Poor, poor person. My good lord. Everything went to hell real quick. As soon as, you, as soon as they discovered the marker, everything went and turned into a shit show immediately. Oh, good lord! What the fuck? Yeah, I got you there, bitch. Oh, schematics. Or line rags, my bad. Newborn. Oh, no, the newborns. Oh. Well, that's just sad. Good God. I mean, yeah, I saw that with Jack, but still, good God, it's still unsettling every time. Good God. Text log. Further to our previous conversation. Oh. Oops. Benjamin. Further to our previous conversation, I ask that you delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony. But that's why I ask. What's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented to cut it short without proper time to study the causes and effects. In light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Dr. Scott. Aurelio and Wellen 
planet side to get their observation. I haven't played a whole lot of horror games, but this is pretty whoa. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Damn. Isn't this the... If memory serves... Good God. Whoa! Good fucking Lord. That went by pretty damn quick, to be honest. I mean, we are in easy mode, to be fair. Like, like if codes received and see. they look good, thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to the ship. It is my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted. And beyond the scope of my role, I can only report on the body. Subject was in generally generally good health for his age. Though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low. With eosophilus, I can't pronounce that, in particular almost non-existent. His pre-fight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely this had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arm and hands indicating a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight contusion around the ribcage suggesting his chest was restrained in some way. The cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. The force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly low. I therefore have no alternative but to record a pre preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Damn. Crazy shit happening on the Ishimura, that's for damn sure. Fucking all due to the damn marker. Power node. This is glass I can't freaking break. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, so this is okay. Cool. Oh, nope.
Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Um, I feel like I, like I said, I really don't feel like I'll, I mean, I might keep, like, two. I'll keep these three, but I probably will sell the rest. Line racks for when I eventually get the line stuff, naturally. A medium med pack, um... I'm not quite so sure if I need... Need that, but move you keep flame fuel just in case I could go for the pulse rifle but I think I'm I think I'm good for now Where are we at on time 40 set Jesus doesn't feel like that long. God damn. All right. All right. Well, oh, I guess we'll just wait until we get to the next save and then we'll probably call that an episode. Chapter 2 complete. Good boy. Oh lord. Okay, well. Didn't realize that was going to be the end of chapter 2, so. I'm just going to overwrite this one, considering. <laughs> well. Two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Nice. All right, so. Wait, is there, isn't there supposed to be, a, oh no. Oh wait, okay. Noise. Does anyone else feel like the only way to play this is to is to run full speed? Considering if this was real life, you would be on one hell of a time limit between all the damn necromor well necromorphs and the fact that your orbit's decaying. Like, I mean, yeah, there's a delicate balance between obviously trying to be stealthy and all, and then also trying to make sure you get out of here fast before it plummets to your death, you know? I don't know, just food for thought, I wonder. Audio log. Personal log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. It's been two days since they pulled that planet open, since the captain died. The panel.
panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers started coming back, changed, coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning, and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel, and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. Well, Jesus. <laughs> well, it seems to me that's a good spot to end this episode. But yeah. <laughs> Getting crazy up in this fucking Ishimura bullshit, isn't it? But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care.